Hey everyone, welcome to Kempner Sports. My name is Rev Trev. Glad to have you here. Today we're going to be talking about the negative narrative with the Green Bay Packers. I don't know about you, but have you noticed that since the schedule's been pu pumped out, that people are losing their minds and reasonability and they're, they're no longer realistic? And I guess that's what happens in the offseason. And it's like, oh, this is an easy schedule and that's an easy schedule. And, and it was like, oh, that team we're going to be able to beat. I'm like, how do you know anything at this stage? Like, we're just educated guessing at this stage. But what's blowing my mind is the negative narrative over the Green Bay Packers. Uh, I've heard people say we're going to win four games, three games. Are, what? Are you kidding me? How is that even possible? And, and I understand Jordan Love has never been a full-time starter. He started one game before against Kansas City Chiefs. This next game will be his first ever or second ever start. I get that, okay? But here's the thing. He's had three years looking at that playbook, and they said they're going to open up the playbook totally to him. Okay? So think about that just for a second. Three years of studying. It's not like he's he's uh, Bryce Young coming in and trying to learn this offense, or he's C.J. Stroud, or, you know, some of these things. Now, has a guy like Justin Fields, of course, had a little bit extra time to actually play real games. Yes, yes, absolutely. He's in a he's in a better shape because he's he knows what it's like to play real NFL games. So if you think about it for a moment, you know these young quarterbacks like Trevor Lawrence and those guys, they're set up. But the idea, the the audacity to think that we are going to only win four games or less, even uh, Packers fans are divided. There are Packers fans already losing their minds how bad we're going to be. And then there's other ones that are just like, we're going to the playoffs and we're going to win the Super Bowl. And it's like, oh my goodness. I'm just, I haven't done a record yet. Like, what's the Packers record? I don't feel like I can actually give you an, ac an accurate statement of this team. I want to see what they look like in preseason. I want to see what the storylines are coming into the year, okay? Because at the end of the day, this is one of the years that you're, we're the most like, I actually don't know what's going to happen. Could we be good? Yes, absolutely. I mean, people forget we still have a good, really good O-line. We have two incredible running backs. Uh, Christian Watson, if he's healthy, he's dynamic. Uh, I Same with Dobbs. He can be very good. Now, I don't know if he's dynamic, but that, that's a good start. And then if you add, if Jalen Reed becomes what everyone's hoping that he's going to become, that's going to be pretty exciting to watch. Those um, tight ends, young, lots to learn. But man, there's a lot of hype about both of those guys, right? And defensively, we're getting healthy coming into the season. And, and that's what we didn't have last year. That's People want to blame Joe Barry for everything, and I totally get it. I'm not a huge fan of him. I do not that like that play-off uh, kind of defense. But he was playing without a full deck of cards. Now, that is one of the things that I do want to remind us. So when you look at the schedule, you have to look at it in the light that if healthy, this is what we think. We have no idea what kind of injuries that we're going to face. So... But the negative narrative over uh, Packers, I think, is unfounded. I think CBS Sports said we're going to be 6 and 11. I, I've seen people say we're going to be 4 and 13. Um, like, this this is craziness. Now, do I think we're going to make playoffs? I'm not sure. Probably not, but we might have a chance. I mean, Rodgers was injured all last year. If they, I, don't, I wonder what it would have been like if they just put Love in instead of trying to get Rodgers to play through the injury. But I'm not sure. I mean, I'm, we're going to miss. We know that going from Rodgers to Love is a downgrade, okay? So I'm not saying that he's going to be God's gift to the quarterback position in Green Bay. But I'm telling you this right now. If Love turns it on and just kicks some major butt, and becomes the next Pro Bowl Hall of Fame quarterback. I am going to laugh so hard. 
but uh, and just in the face of all the NFC North guys and and just the league because that's just not going to be fair, right? But I hope Jordan Love turns into the real deal. You you can watch my realistic expectations video and it shows what I think his stats are going to be over here. Uh, please check it out and thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and support the channel because we're talking about Packers content, baby. Go Pack, go! Thank <laughs> you.